consistent with the uh, with the attitude of American people and our and their general reactions to go in. If they could understand that, but but getting out even after we go in and get bogged down in there with the war with China would be, be, be it's going to be a hell of a mess. It'd be worse than we are now. To some extent, that's what makes it so difficult. And don't remember, uh, don't forget that uh, old Ben Milam was the only man who got killed. And he said, who's go with old Ben? He's a great hero, but he got killed. That's right. And uh, the old man was killed. And uh, so uh, uh, they, they start off with Ben Milam, which they ain't going to do to any side degree. Uh, they'll get out and Ben be killed. And I, it, it's a... It's just a hell of a come on. I don't know. I don't know how much Russia, uh, they want to cause us all the trouble they can, but uh, if there's any truth in uh, the um, theory that they are really at odds with China, and really is a cleavage there. They are, but they'd go with them as soon as fight started. They wouldn't, they wouldn't forsake that China, that communist plus. I, I wasn't talking about fighting in there, but what we might get them to, uh, to take an active part in uh, in uh, in getting those uh, in getting the things straightened out. However, uh, we're doing I, all we can on that, but she doesn't show any any signs of contributing well, of anything. They'd be foolish too, and from one extent, because we just continue to pour the money in there and get nothing back out of it. We don't even get goodwill back out of that. And uh, I just don't know. It's a, and I don't know where to go for advice. I just don't know where to go for it. McNamara is uh, the smartest fellow we any of us know, but he's got so damn, uh, he, he is opinionated as hell, and he's made up his mind on this, and I don't think it uh, any amount of claim. Well, now I'll tell you what he's done, Vic. Uh, I think he's a pretty flexible fellow. He's gone out there, and he's got con to agree that we cannot launch a counteroffensive or hit in the north until he gets more stabilized and better set in the south. And he thought he's buying us time and we could get by till November. But these politicians got to raise in hell and Scripps Howard writing these stories. All the senators, Nixon and Rockefeller and Goldwater all saying, let's move, let's go in the north. That's a devastating piece that Lucas had on yes. the last page, just a little old paper. That's, That's right. right. don't cover much of the country, but if that got out everywhere, it, it, that would it, raise a lot of hell. That's right. And uh, uh, they can always get an isolated example of bad things McNamara says, that that's not generally true, that uh, they have too many damn people being killed every day. And, and that uh, they, they're flying the sorties, and they're getting some results, and they're killing thousands of their people, but we're losing more. I mean, we're losing ground. And he was uh, hoping that we could uh, avoid uh, moving into the north and thereby provoking the Chinese well, then, and we for a few months. No, the, you know what did I do? We've tried that. And, uh, well, from infiltration and guerrilla war standpoint, with disastrous results. Lodge, uh, Nixon, Rockefeller, Goldwater all say move. Eisenhower. Well, you mean well, they'll, and bomb and all yeah, kill yeah, old men, yeah. women, and no, children. No, no. infuriate everybody. No, they say anything. pick out a pick out an oil plant or pick out a uh, uh, a refinery or something like that. Take take selected targets. Watch these trails that are coming down. And try to bomb them out of them when they're coming in. Yeah. Hey, what the, hey, you can't. That's just that's just uh, it's, uh, that's just impossible. Uh, McNamara like said yesterday that they in Korea that they LeMay and all of them was going to stop all those tanks. That 90 came through and they they turned all the air force loose on and they got one. 89 come on through. Uh, we, we tried it in Korea. We we we, we we even sent and got out a lot of old B-29s to increase the bomb load and sent over there and just dropped millions and millions of pounds of uh, of bombs day and night. And, uh, and uh, in the morning, we'd knock out the road at night, and in the morning, the damn people be back traveling over. That's it. true on that railroad over there. On the north coast, we used the Navy and these 14-inch rifles and knocked the whole mountain down on it, uh, shelled it. 
and uh, knocked all these uh, whole mountain down and covered up the railroad tracks. Everybody said, oh, God, we've got them now. And uh, the, the next morning, the trains were running like the devil right over that track. And we shot up uh, several million dollars worth of shells to think that we closed it. We didn't do, we never could uh, actually interdict all our lines of communication in uh, Korea, though we had absolute control of the seas and the air. And uh, we never did stop them. And you ain't going to stop these people either. Well, it impeached President though that run out, wouldn't it? I just oh, don't sir, believe every uh, outside of Morris, everybody I talked to says you got to go in, including Hickenlooper, including all the Republicans. None of them disagreed with him yesterday when he made the statement that we had to stand. And I don't know how in the hell you're going to get out unless they tell you to get out. If we had a man running the government over that door to get out, we could sure have. Oh yeah, that's right. But you can't do that. And I, 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 I don't know if, if, if we get somebody help. I can't remember that fellow's name is some. Sort of a, a maverick fella that's got a big following down in there below Saigon, and, and uh, our people all hate him because he's always against the government, and uh, not he's not fighting them and all, but he's a very powerful man in uh, Vietnam. <laughs> and now everybody takes over the government, uh, gives uh, him his excuse for their repressions and suppressions. And if he were to get it and say, "Now you damn uh, Yankees, get out of here! I'm running this government now." Wouldn't that pretty well fix us in the eyes of the world, though? Would it make it look mighty bad? Well, I don't know. We don't, we, we don't look too good right now. And, uh, of course, you look pretty good, I guess, going in there with all the troops and sending them all in there. But uh, I'll tell you, it'll, it'll be the most expensive venture this country ever went into. What I've got know? a little old sergeant over that works for me over to the house. And he got six children. And I just put him up as the United States Army and Air Force and Navy every time I think about making this decision and think about sending that father of those six kids in there. And uh, what the hell are we going to get out of his doing it? And it, it just uh, makes the chills run up my it back. It does me. I just, I just can't see it. I haven't got the nerve to do it, and uh, other, I don't see any you other way out of it. much sense to it. That's the thing. Thing. Wait, it, wait. It's one of these things where heads I win, tails you lose. Well, think about it, and I'll talk to you again. I, I hate to bother you, but I've I just... I uh, you. God knows I do, because it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a terrific uh, quandary that we're in over there. Just, um, we're just in the quicksands up to our very neck, and I just don't know how, what the hell's the best way to do about it. I love you, and I'll be calling you. I'll see you, sir. Waiting. Waiting. 